Welcome back to Marcella Moon, Curse of the Black Cat. We do have a puzzle here in Mom's house. So let's solve it. We need to decode the clues. I think this is the important one. Number one, number three. So number three says a number is correct and in the right place. Number one says one number is correct but in the wrong place. And you'll notice zero one and zero one are both in the same places in the, you know, number one and number three. So that means nine must be the first one, right? And uh, two must be one of the numbers, but it's, it's not first. So where's two going to be? Okay, well, this has two numbers correct in the wrong place. Well, we know nine's in the wrong place. We know one's not going to be one of the numbers because otherwise this would have two numbers correct. So seven. So nine, two, seven, right? So it's nine, seven, and two. That's what we can tell from the first three clues. Um, fourth clues, I guess, is kind of helpful. And this gives us the letter S, the letter S, and some earrings. Nice! Okay, so that was a cool puzzle. Cool puzzle, and where else can we go? We can go here. Ah, oh, man, let's get some coffee! Let's get some coffee, and what's this? Z! Z! Yes, I Ziza know. Hey, Marcella, what will it be? The usual? Hi, Nick! I, I can't see your face. All I can see is the letter Z. Sorry. Yep. A chai latte for me and a macchiato for Marco. Coming right up. Wow! She's getting coffee for her roommate? Wow, Marcella is the best roommate ever. How can she afford it, though? I thought she was really poor, and apparently this place charges $9 for fried chicken. Jeez. Oh, they only charge two fifty dollars for soup. Hmm. Yeah, get the soup. Don't get the fried chicken. You could get, like, three things of soup for the price of... For less than one fried chicken. Yes. And then what's the other one? Rice? 150 rice. Hmm. Okay, get the soup and rice. Yeah. Here you go. Thanks, Nicholas. Thanks. Okay. Okay. And then, then that letter Z is gone. Okay. So let's check out the final place in town. Uh, if we go straight forward. We have good intuition. Wow, I can't see anything. It is very foggy. And it's got the number zero. 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 That is the number of things I can see through this fog. Alrighty. Very, very foggy area. Indeed. And we have one book in this store. Noteworthy modern cover covens. So this is a test. We need to figure out how many triangles. So how many triangles are on here? Well, we've got the blue triangles. So we've got those small triangles. Four for each thing. Yeah, and we got larger triangles like this triangle. See, yeah, two of the small triangles together make a triangle. So that's one, two, three, four for that. And then same with all the other ones. And we've got the big triangle. This triangle, one, two, three, and four of those. And we've got the big triangle, which is actually half of the board. One, two, three, four. So altogether, I think that's going to be 44. And this tells us about the black cats. The black cats are a group that believe strongly in the role of karma and personal fortune. They're said to be karmic helpers, bringing fortune to those who have done good, while dealing their own brand of justice to those who they believe have done wrong. It's thus very dangerous to get on the wrong side of a black cat. They practice black magic! Okay, they might even curse someone if the name of this game is to be believed. Alrighty, and I, I did not talk to the woman who runs the store. Let's talk to her, Sylvia Weir. Hi, so uh, what's this store? What's this shop all about? Well, we've got everything a modern day white witch needs to thrive. Incense, herbs, candles, crystals, spell books, you name it. In a more general sense, I provide products to increase positive energy, calm, and well-being. Everything you'll find in this shop is grounded in traditional healing practices from around the world. I've seen you in here a few times before. Is there something in particular you're looking for today? Not really, just looking around today. But you're interested in modern-day magic. Not really, I'm a detective. Sure, I'm interested. I'm still not sure how much power these things hold, but I find the stories behind them fascinating. Well, that's a start. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the items you see in the store. Okay, will do. 
So, uh, how's business? How's business? I've been very happy with it lately. I believe that, more and more, people are realizing that modern life doesn't hold all the keys to fulfillment. It's missing a little... magic. Whoa, 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 it's magic, you know. When that happens, my work becomes all the more important. I have been able to help many of my customers find new solutions to the problems they're facing in their lives. Right. Okay, so, uh, what's with those rocks? Are they magic rocks? What are those rocks in the corner? Powerful stones for protection, healing, grounding energy, and other effects. Each type of crystal has its own meaning. Let me know if you'd like to know more about a specific one. Yeah, that's okay. What about the cupboard? What's in the cupboard? Herbs. Used to create herbal concoctions with powerful effects. Put them in salves, lotions, teas, or even inhale their scents to get a variety of benefits. And the bookshelf? What's on the bookshelf? All kinds of books about spirituality and magic. Take a look if you'd like. Already did, already did. What about the back room? What's in the back room? Oh, much more. You're welcome to take a look. I've got home decor, beauty products, and more spiritual books back there. Okay, she says we're welcome to take a look, but we can't actually go into the back room. That's kind of a shame. I was going to get some makeup, yeah. And, uh, what's with the candles? Are those candles special somehow? These candles are meant to be used for magic rituals. Spell candles help you channel energy towards a particular intention. Whether it be love, truth, healing of grief, power, luck, feminine energy, creativity, happiness, or whatever intention you choose. Oh, okay. You know, candles are also super useful if the power goes out and you need some light so you can walk around your house without tripping into everything. To get the best effects out of them, you should cleanse and charge them first. I can recommend a good book for beginners if you're interested. So, uh, I think the important thing here is the, uh, the, the black cat statue, right? Did you sell a black cat statue to Diane Fields? Yes, last week. And the statue is meant to bring the owner good fortune? The black cat is a complicated figure, to say the least. In many Western cultures, it's taken as a sign of bad luck. However, in Scottish lore, it brings prosperity, while in Welsh culture, it's a bringer of good luck. In Japan, a black cat is a good symbol for single women, as it's likely to bring forth many eligible suitors. Then there are the cultures who have mixed feelings about black cats. 18th century pirates thought black cats were good luck if they walked towards you and bad luck if they walked away. An old German tradition states that black cats are good luck if they cross your path from left to right, but bad luck if they cross from right to left. And of course there's the fact that black cats are often thought to be the familiars of witches. And the truth in that particular matter is that a witch can choose whichever familiar he or she wants. Black cats make good familiars, but they're by no means the only option. To get back to your question, though, it really only matters what the owner of the statue believes. Intentions and beliefs hold more power than many people realize. If Miss Fields believes the statue will bring her good luck, then it likely will. If she believes it will bring her bad luck, then that's what will happen. Okay. So that was a really long lecture on black cats. Thank you. Thanks for the information. If you need anything else, let me know. So, that was Sylvia Weir. Our, uh, you know, we might call her Sylvia Weird. Yeah. I think the play is about to start. I should head over there. Ah, and, and now that we've met everyone in town, it's time for the play. All right. The play's the thing.